Hi, this is Claire and we're going to draw a sine curve. So on your grid paper, put it into landscape and I'd like you to construct a set of axes, the vertical axis. Um, I've just used three centimetres to make one, zero and negative one. So it's like a T graph. And then from zero, the horizontal axis, each single grid line is 10 degrees. So we're going up a centimetre equals 20 degrees, up to 360. So we're going to draw the full revolution of a circle, a unit circle. So we start off with zero to 90 degrees is the first quadrant and then 90 to 180 is the second quadrant and then 180 to 270 and 270 to 360. So you'll see the pattern of these quadrants as you draw the graph and there they are like so. So the first one, 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90. So that's 30 degrees, then 15, 15 and then up 30. So putting in the values, you might remember that it's 0, a half, 0 0.707, 0 0.866 and 1. And you can check those on your calculator. So we'll do the next lot on the calculator. So turning it on. And it's in degrees. So selecting sine 120 degrees, close the bracket, equals. It's 0 0.866, same as this one, 0 0.866 then 135, sine 135, close the brackets, equals 0 0.707. Then 150, maybe you can start to see this pattern, clear, sine, and 150, is 0 0.5 and 180 is the next one clear sine 180 degrees close the brackets equals zero so we'll start plotting these on to our graph so the first one when the horizontal axis is the theta axis so we've called that theta and the vertical axis is sine the sine of theta so these are going to be on the horizontal axis and these are the corresponding rises along the vertical axis so the first one is zero zero which is there the next one is 30 so you need to find 30 here 30 degrees is three small squares and it's 0 0.5. Well, there's 0 0.5 and that's the next point. The next one is 45 degrees. So that's 40 and 45 will be here and it's 0 0.707. So that's 0 0.5. Uh, this would be probably going up in thirds and going down in thirds. It would be about here. So 0 0.707 for 45 is here. The next one is 0 0.866, which is very nearly 0 0.9. And that's with 60 degrees, which is here. That's very close to 1. And the last one, so that's 30. 45, 60, and the last one is at 90 degrees here. So I might just label some of those. And at 90 degrees, we're right on one. So if you join those with a smooth curve, it goes like so. Right, the next one, we'll start setting that up. We'll divide that into 30 degrees, and there's the 45 mark. So 120 is here. 120 is 0.866, which is very close to 0.9. Then 
the next one is 135 here and that's just level here with this point and the next one is 0.5 and that's 0.5 so if you just turn I'm going to have to turn my page to the side and I'm going to put that through a smooth curve down to zero this didn't exactly go through that point perhaps it wasn't very accurate um, okay so now we've got that first part so to plot the second part we'll need to go back to our calculator clear and sine 100 and 210 so sine 210 close the bracket is negative 0.5 so this is a bit of a departure now so it's negative 0 0.5 clear and sine of 225 close the bracket oops go back 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 um, I'll have to clear that one again and that's sine 225 close enter is negative 0 0.707 so we're going to go below the horizontal axis now with the next lot of points and sine of 240 close the brackets is negative 0 0.866 and 270 sine of 270 close the bracket is negative 1 so our next lot starts with zero here and we'll just divide the axis up into 30 degree increments to help us and there's the 45 so there's 270 this is 180 and this here is 150 so I'll just put those few labels on the next one is 210 and it's negative 0.5 so negative 0.5 is here and the next one is the 45 mark and it's negative 0.707 which is about here and the next one is 240 degrees and that's just about 0.9 which is here and then 270 is negative 1 so I'll just turn my page to the side and draw a smooth curve through those points and you can see I've nearly finished my curve the next curves uh, the next pattern will be from 300 it will be negative 0 0.866 and then negative 0 0.707 330 is negative 0 0.5 and then we're back to zero so the next ones here I'll just put these in and we'll go 0.9 and then halfway 0.707 and then 0.5 and then back to zero so that is your sine curve and we'll just label all these points 300 yeah, 303 30 degrees so that is a sine curve so you can do the same with a cosine now on the same set of axes maybe putting another line down here and finding the cosine of these and using a different color pencil or a different color pen to draw the calculate and draw the cosine of theta on the same set of axes. So thanks for your attention. Bye for now.